When you think of VR-based horror, what's the first thing that pops in your head? Maybe it's phasmophobia you've played with your friends. It could be Five Nights at Freddy's, without the Gooner mods. Possibly it's Resident Evil, with its 500th remake or remaster. Or maybe you're crazy and it's some mixed review VR shovelware you found on Steam. For me, it's like most things that are VR. It's in VR chat. Yo, it's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait. <laughs> guys? Of course you guys do blood door. <gasps> I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> guys, just hide in your eyes. Hi, you <laughs> <guys. laughs> Yo, yeah, you're fine. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> You see, VRChat is one of the biggest hosts of user-made horror content, and they are all made for VR. They're not ported shovelware, they're made for VR. Many of these games run on par with full releases on Steam, mixed together with uncountable fun little mini-games you can play with friends. So when Halloween rolls around and you get in the spooky spirit, many people spend that time exploring spooky maps in VRChat. And to help that along, every year VRChat hosts a contest called Spookality where users submit the maps they made to get their own tab on the world's menu. And it is a mixed bag for sure. I got the these guys, one. I don't know what the f Oh, there's oh, eyeballs outside. Wait, oh, those, those are people. Spooky. Every year previously, I've just kind of checked out the few ones my friends have said are good, but this year, things are different. Me and my friends put off exploring the spooky maps until the 21st of October when the Spookality tab was released. And we checked out every single map featured to determine if these maps hold up to what's available outside the game. If they're worth it or not worth it. And we started our journey not with the top map or the bottom map, but somewhere in the middle. That's not, no. that's not a normal thing to have. What's up, little, what's up, little guy? You, you like turn off lights? With Thrill Seeker, not the YouTuber. Thrill Seeker. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. Like, genuinely, at all. Hello? Guys? <laughs> so, from what I remember, it started us off in like a room. The lem, Dara Frog from the lem, the, the lem from the Dara we, Frog. We went through like a storm drain on a boat. Uh, yeah, why would I, why did I need And then before we knew it, we were in a prison. And I, I, I have no idea why we were, we were in a prison. There are a bunch of babies. Watch this. All right, watch him scream in three, two, one. He's holding it back. Yeah, he's just fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, f you! Oh my god, dude. That one I remember there was like a lot of dialogue that was happening, but we like kind of memed through a good bit of like the actual lore. You guys, you're ruining my intro. Holy frick! You guys are yapping my freaking the voice acting like at all. We, we, we were we were talking quite a lot actually. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> and his head. Oh my god. Bro, oh my! I swear, Panda like cut me from at least like two of the jump scares because he's so big oh, okay he's so big i can't see past panda so i don't know oh yeah no he got us what's up what's up oh that thing's i thought the scares were good i thought i thought the tension was good but it it, it was very much taken away by the fact that everything was super f slow y'all praise femboys may y'all praise you girls Freak. may y'all that that mannequin part with like all like, like going through the maze and stuff was like super it was super cool i thought that was actually like a kind of scary part <laughs> i think the most fun part was just placing stickers down putting the lem sticker on the window <laughs> the main antagonist Holy. This is a real villain right here. There's one moment where we uh, we shown a light on um, one of the, uh, the NPCs, the uh, talking NPCs. I thought that part was really funny. There's a flashlight. You'll be fine. I can't reach it. We have to save them. That's the hallway. Oh, that's actually wild. That's actually wild.
Something that's unavoidable when you look at the Spookality tab is that you'll notice that most of the maps are not proper horror maps. Most of them are something a lot easier to make. Yeah. Chill maps. I'd like you to meet my special is, one, my other half. It's here. You come to my daughter's wedding. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what, what in the world's going on? Cute as heck. <laughs> Many of these hangout chill maps with a Halloween twist are good. They're really well-designed maps, full of spooky vibes. Absolutely worth visiting. Others are the same, but poorly executed in comparison. Probably not as worth, but you can tell they tried. It was made for spookality. Oh Jesus, bro, I just got RKO'd. No. It's so scuffed. That's a home run in my book. That's a home run in my book. You have the final type. Maps I don't think deserve to be on this list. Maps that have always existed and just have a Halloween theme during it's the spooky got, months. It's got pumpkins, it's got the purple candles with the lighting, it's got orange colors and purple colors. Spookality. I love Hwabon. It's the center of Korean players across VRChat, a world I've spent hundreds of hours in. Gods, I've been there in real life. But why is it in Spookality? If this is able to be a spookality map, what stops all these other maps that are temporarily spooky from being on there? I mean, I know why. It's because the creator didn't submit it. That's it. I'm not a fan. Not recommended for that. Can we have some privacy, please? Hey man, I told you about using my blood before going into it, and you're like, ah, it's fine. I don't, I don't want to bleed myself anyway. I'm wearing a suit. Uh, if I'd cut the suit, if I like, it's so yeah. it's all tight. So. it is in your brain hello I have a nice little task for you hello I'll let you out of this room as soon why as am i alone jump scare. <laughs> dude backspace 2 is a good map backspace 2 is cool i actually thought backspace 2 was like actually really cool like continuation from the other one is, 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 is your brain still completely intact? There was an AI in our head, and then there was an AI that was like trying to get in to our head and messing with us. There was a chase scene. <laughs> oh, I died. We ended up in a, um, it reminded me of the Lethal Company mansion. Somebody else mentioned that too, as well. Mansion? Yeah, really. This is literally the Lethal Company mansion. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, these, these doors are lit. We got separated multiple times. I have to. This is so. F why am I alone? There we go. All right, I'm supposed to write our name. Dude, when I was there and they said build the jump scare, I was like, dude, nah. Ah, ah, ah. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I did a lot of talking to myself during that section because, like, if I don't talk, then I might go crazy. Bro, what's up, bro? Yo, hold up. Hi. That was that was the most terrifying part. Um the drill part. Holy. Ah, uh, boy, holy crap. Uh, I thought the drill part was really freaking cool. There was a there was a roller coaster segment. Well, here we go, Panda. Um that was amazing. What that is? Dude, this feels like old VR chat. Ah! Ooh, Bro, looks, whoa. whoa. The roller coaster bit was awesome. Like going like packing. And then freaking going up, and then you went off the track, and then you went backwards. Like, whoa, dude, freaking crazy. Backspace Two was really diverse in the in the things that we were doing and the things that happened to us. That that I think I think really helped it along. Dude, that was a really good map, though. That was a really fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Uh, oh man. Now say three, two, one. You. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you broke Wait. the bear out and it was a real thing. You ready? Okay. Hello. Hey guys. What do we do? This spookality, there was something different other than what was done in previous years. There were two tabs. A normal tab, like every year, and a tab called Fractured Realms. In that corner! Bing, 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 Fractured bing. Realms, put simply, is game modes that are 1v all. 
It's a cool idea to have a specified type of game for the creators. Mm. It's free, it's just mm. a clean, nice hallway. Mm. But I find it underwhelming. In fact, I'd say there's only two maps I'd actually say are worth it. See, there's a problem I find with a lot of what VRChat does. There's just not enough time. <laughs> Hey. Oh, poor panda. <laughs> it takes months to make a good VR chat world. And the first mention of what was expected for the spooky maps was on September 23rd. And the limit for submitting maps was on the 14th of October. That's only 22 days to make something that normally can take months. Then the spookality tab started on the 21st of October and disappears on the 4th of November. What a small deadline for me to get this video started and done by. I think, for future world jams, they should be given plenty more notice of what the topic is and what to prepare, so creators can have more time to make good maps, not rushed maps that seem broken. And that's for everything. The New Year's world too. Okay. Big bug. Hello. Tenebris 3 was really long. <laughs> Tenebris is cool. It was pretty long. It was actually pretty, pretty long, but the map was pretty as heck. Okay. That's awesome. Some parts look really beautiful. It's pretty. really cinematic too. It was a beautiful map. Like pretty, like it was pretty. There was a lot of pretty things and like stuff to look at. Ooh, I got a good one. You got a good Every one. Every like five meters, you would come across this computer that would have a bunch of text on it in the form of emails. I'm here, you. Just, just scan it, just scan There's it. There's a lot worry. of reading, a lot of reading. Sometimes it would be important and sometimes it would not be important at all. Oh, there's a guy. Not too scary, chase fits, yes. Especially that water segment. The water chase segment? Oh, it's right there. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. I like that. That's that's promising. He's right there. He's right there. We're going back down with the monsters. We're going back down with the monsters. There are a lot of maps that are featured in this spookality that are quite short or puzzle slash game maps. So let me just go over them briefly. Fiendish Frenzy is a bullet hell esque shooter. Pretty fun, <laughs> but it is also a solo thing. No, I fell off. It's definitely one of the maps that works the best. Dude, this is so hard. The Old Cemetery is a puzzle adventure map where you unlock avatars through finding stuff in the world. This is, this is my wife. If you like that stuff, it's pretty good, but it does require eight people for one of the puzzles. So keep that in mind. Nazoakuma is a puzzle escape room. There's blood in this, this, and this, but there's no blood in that. With very confusing puzzles that I'm not sure I'd get through if we didn't brute force it with 10 people. Horror Training is a short map that's meant to train you to deal with horror maps better. I'm not sure it really did, but I liked watching Kari freak out. <laughs> You're fine. Existence Prelude is a short map based in a house that unfortunately what? is a prelude. It's not the whole map. Honestly, you should wait for the whole map to come out. And there's always speed running there. Jet Ski Rush is a Mario Kart-esque racing game on water that falls into the same problem I find with Hwabon and Neo Worlds. It's not a spooky map, it's just an update. The Crypt is a short horror map limited to four people. Madness grew. Madness? That has some of the best scares in this whole game. I loved it. Patient Pending, we never played. It was one of the maps that limits to a certain number of people, but allows more in, resulting in some not able to play. So we never did. Screw any map that does that. Haunted Hayride is a short carriage ride through a cornfield where you have to collect items before you get jump scared. It also limits to three people but allows more in the world. How do we just watch them? What are you doing? <laughs> Hall of Echoes seems to be a recreation of doors from Roblox, but it's a demo. And nothing happens. It's not worth your time. 
Suffer is an actual map that works. It, it does work. Not that you'd be able to understand anything that happens. What? What is that, bro? And that leaves us with one map remaining. So all alone. Okay. I think one of the best quality-wise horror worlds made so far is the Smile Room 2 demo. I'm in. I want a taco. Cripsy's really good at horror. They're, they really know what they're doing, and they're better than anyone else who does it in the in this game. The hallway segment, looking for a bathroom with the clown, and it separates you. Hey, buddy. Frick. That creepy clown dude. Ooh, I need to work on Scud. <laughs> Him popping up in the hallway and you going alone? Nah. Any parts where it separates you, it's crazy. Okay, bro. The mall segment was really funny. Yo, Panda, I know you've always wanted the Gator Fun. Your favorite toy. The mall was fun. It was cool. I was chilling with my homies. We were looking around. You know what? It's I your found game, the holy dude. grail. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I love horror maps that can like have serious moments where you're actually scared and then have like jokey moments where you can just mess around with friends. Dara, Dara, can you buy me, can you buy me one of those? Can you buy me, can you, can you Are you sure you those? want the ultra waifu set and not the, the waifu? The waifu the... single's lame. You know, it's old, man. <sighs> I can't believe you wouldn't know this. Just bro. the quality of the it's world and like it just it just sucks you in. It sucks you right in. I enjoyed Smart Room Chapter 2. I I'd rec I recommend that one. It's only the demo, so like like I wonder what the freaking cool game's gonna be like. So it's so dark I cannot see. I'm it. calm. These doors Jesus like, Christ, God. you guys scared me. Ooh. Red door. Hello? Oh, but... Oh, okay, sure. Jesus right, Christ, oh, you guys scared me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you all right? Oh Lord. I, I hated that. Oh, hey, hey. Nowhere. <laughs> 